Or just morning for it. So, AJ's loading. I also own a farm. Here we go. You're now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Previously was our first day ever field spreading with this truck and tanker. Successful day. Uh, over the night, it rained some. We actually spent the night at... We actually spent the night at Cody Keys. And uh, so we were close. Got some sleep. It means we didn't edit any video though, but it is what it is. We're all getting back in the rhythm of daily videos. By now, you're back into it. We're gonna go down here. Um, since it rained a little bit, hopefully we won't have any issues. I guess we're gonna find out. We got four trucks running again today. Me and Mike here are gonna finish up the field we were in last night. And uh, the other two trucks are gonna start on the big field uh, down the road. We actually drag lined it this spring uh, where it was muddy on the roadway. And we got stuck and things like that, so we'll get after it. Appreciate you guys watching along. Well, I drove into the manure first load like an amateur. We got out of it though. But, uh, yeah. So we got from here over to do. A couple loads, and then we'll move up to the next fields. Or just morning for it. So, AJ's loading. I figured I'd come up here and give you guys a view. This is a big pit. I'll find out how many gallons, well, big slurry, sorry. How many gallons uh, it actually holds, but they got a bunch of their feed covered. I don't know if this is their last day of chopping or not. So, it's gonna be a good day. I will remind you guys, I hate heights, so that was for your guys' entertainment. Even with the cage around me, Still sketchy to me. Well, got our walkway up here. Yeah. They're going to a different location once we get going. We'll be spread out a lot more. Which will be good. So they said if everything goes well, this will be the last day of their corn. chases birds and there's a few birds that have been flying circles and he's out there losing it on them all ran into the plastic so like i said last day of them chopping they're hoping they're building the pile they got the 600 steiger and i believe it's a 310 i could be wrong i forget i actually ran it a little bit this spring um and i should know what number it is i don't remember did you get the bird You gonna eat? Okay. I gave him some of my donut and he, then he left it on the seat. But he keeps getting out, chasing the bird, coming back, sees the bird again, gets back out, chases the bird again. So the two Hainsworth trailers are actually spreading this front field. We drag lined out here uh, in the spring and they're covering well there. Me and Mikey are going out back here. Um, longer, narrower, more gets in and out of stuff but what we've done is we made a straight path so we did everything that jetted out there and then we came over here and we did everything that jetted out and then we went back and forth wrapped that right up like that's looking really good that was third year not first but look at that spread job we're making it happen so now we got this long very long so I'll go up here and work our way over. We are getting towards the end of today. 
Um, we're not running until five, six o'clock, just because it's Saturday. A bunch of us have previous engagements, um, but we will be back here Monday. If it rains, we're gonna be doing one thing. If it doesn't rain, we're gonna be doing the same thing that we're doing right now until we wrap it up. Um, who knows what the weather looks like. So either way, we're running. But they are finishing chopping right here. I think this is the last three fields. Or maybe they only got two now that they have to get done. And their 2024 corn season is over. So I don't know. I think they got more grass to do. But choppers in there opening up this one. 960. With the mat. So when I was coming up to load, they were chopping this one here. Gets a little windy down through here. So they got that one done quick. Doesn't take very long with a machine like that. So they'll probably be done the same time we get done, and then they gotta cover bunk at some point and do all that fun stuff. We don't do that. Everywhere we go, if they're covered bunk, we're like, yeah, you know, we don't know how to do that actually. I'm just messing around, it's Joe. But I don't. It's been a while since I've had to cover bunk. Just got home. So it's been a long time since we've got home and it's been daylight out. And I figured I'd walk into the corn, check some things out. So, yeah, this would be like ideal right now, chop for silage. Um, but it's doing its thing. We do have some bird damage going on and stuff like that. But ears, like, there we go. So we are all dented. Um, Yeah, we're going to be okay. We are definitely going to be okay. We just need to finish out some more. But I wish corn was worth more because our ears are all, well, other than bird damage, like, they're looking good. So everything was planted at 36,000 population um, or just about there. So, yeah, half milk line drying down it's jumped quite a bit in the last week so i figured i'd come out here and check it out before um i see the rest of everything robert did pressure wash the combine I'll, or the head i'll show you that i think yanko left me yep so we gotta kick the boys off that pasture probably put them in front of the house um the yeah, grass is actually growing again. I do not believe we're going to do anything. Corn's starting to dry down. So I'm very happy about all that. Um, I think we're going to be... Yeah, they did also mow the property next door, but not up on the hill. So that will be the first time since I've been here that they mowed it. Um, I am in contact with the family members. So as far as the ones that are around, I'm friends with them. Um... But I see it's mowed. The other day when I other night when I came by, I saw that it was mowed down. Um Yeah. Robert ended up, he didn't move the combine to wash it. I gotta grab another hose or something, but he ended up washing the head for me. And uh He did leave his stuff in the yard, but he washed the head. Robert, you forgot to put the pressure washer back in the house. Or in the shop, in the garage. So, got some of it washed up. Um, I don't think he actually greased it because I have the grease gun. So, now that it's washed up, washed, um, I can run through it and make it happen. So, Robert's been doing some small stuff for me here and there to help me out. But, alrighty. So, tomorrow... We have a ton of projects to do and hopefully get ahead and then I'm exhausted from hauling, but it's, it's going to make harvest a lot better because we're going to have the funds that we need to get the right items we need. We got a lot of things in the works, but alrighty, appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one.